Hello Miss and team, welcome to our second lesson on fractions. It is the 28th of April 2020. As you can see we've got our date written over there for maths. So when you do work today, make sure you've got that at the top. Um, we are learning to share into equal amounts with practical activities, just like we did last week. But also we are looking at shape too, to see if we can get our fractions into our shapes. So we need to make sure that we use the correct notation and vocabulary with fractions. So we use the right fractions today. Now, to be successful today for our different stars, our one star challenge is I can find half of an object or shape. Two stars challenge, I can find half or a quarter of an object or shape. And our three star challenge is to find a fifth or a tenth of an object or a shape. So today I'm gonna to start with finding half. Now, last week we used um, objects, so we used toast to find half. Today I'm going to use an apple. So we need to split that into half. Now I'm gonna give you a couple of seconds to work out how you think we might be able to cut this apple into half. Well, we go this way, this way, this way. How can we make it as equal as possible? So I'll give you a couple of seconds to think. Okay, now I'm going to split it into half and let's see if I'm right and we can get it into half. So here we have our apple into half. So, first of all, our apple was a whole. Okay, so it was a whole. And now we've split it so it is in half. Now half means that it's got two equal parts, okay? Because at the bottom of our fraction we have a two. So we're splitting it into two parts and if we want half, we only need one of them. So here we have a half. So as well as finding half of an object, you need to find half of a shape today. So here we have one hole, okay, a whole circle here. And we want to find half. So to find half, we would need to split it into half, so into two equal parts, which would look like this. So then you would have one half and one half. So here we have one whole, which you can write like this, two halves, okay. And we have a split in our shape in two, into two halves. Take that one away, and we have one half left. To show me half of the shape, you would need to shade one half in. And then write half beside it. So the task today for the one star challengers, so that's for finding half, um, you need to take an object and split it in half, So make sure, but make sure it's in two equal pieces to make the halves, or you can draw your own shapes and color one half in. So one star challenge is your task today is to draw a shape and find half. For example, draw a circle, find half and then shade the fraction in and then write the fraction beside it so I know that you know what half looks like. The other option for the one star challenges is to get an object, for example, an apple and make that into two halves like this. Okay, for your one star challenge task, you've got six questions to have a go at. You need to tell me which ones are split in half which ones have two equal parts. So make sure they, remember they must have equal parts, okay? There are some here that are not equal, so they will not be half. So you need to pause the video now to have a go at the questions. So you can see here that that is an equal half, not an equal half, equal halves, equal halves, not and not. So now we are going to find a quarter of an object. We've already found half of this apple. So I want you to think about how you could find a quarter of the apple. So two star challenges, while you're having to think about how we can split this apple into four to find a quarter, let's have a look at the fraction again. So here we have a one and then a four. Okay, now the bottom one is called the denominator and we need to look at that one to see how we need to split it into. So we need to split this apple into four pieces and we only want to see one of them. So it's already in half. So if we cut it again, 
you will see it's in four. Now we have now got four quarters because we've got one, two, three, four, and that would look like this. Do we still have the whole apple even though it's split into four? But we want one quarter. We only want one of them. So we need to take the rest of the apple away to get our one quarter. So here we have one quarter of the apple. Okay, two star challenges. Now that you have cut up your object into four equal parts to find a quarter, we are going to focus on finding a quarter of a shape. So we've done the object part of success criteria, and now we're going to do our shape part. So have a think about how you would split this circle into four equal parts. Would you go this way, across the way? Would you go this way? Have a little think. Yep, you would split it this way. So you have got one, two, three, and four equal parts there. So if you wanted to show somebody that you had a quarter of a shape and you could split it shape into four equal parts, you would do it this way. Split it into four equal parts, so in half, and then again. And then you would shade one section of it. So we have one, two, three, four equal parts, four at the bottom and only one of them is shaded, so we have one quarter there. So your task today is to shade in one quarter of a shape and to find one quarter of an object. So you would just have one quarter left of the apples there and you would write one quarter beside it and then you would do have a shape and you would shade one in and have one quarter beside it and then you can take a picture and send it to me. There are two star challenges. Now that you have drawn your shape and shown me half and a quarter for your shapes and you have cut up your object to show half and a quarter, here are some questions for you to try. So question one, I like to write how much of the shape is shaded. So you need to count how many parts to work out whether it's half or a quarter. Here as well, do the exact same and the same for this one and the same for this one. Now giving you a challenge question here at the end, you have to tell me what fraction is shaded. So counting each square, one, two, three, four, we know that it's quarters, so we know what number needs to go on the bottom. Have a look and see how many are shaded, and that might give you a hint for what needs to go on the top. Okay, so here are the answers. So we have a quarter, because one's shaded and it's four parts. Quarter again, one shaded, four parts half because there are two equal parts and only one shaded and here for question four we have half the shape shaded because only one of the two parts are shaded now for our challenge we had to work out what this was going to be so we need to count how many parts there are one two three four so we know that the bottom of our fraction is four so we know it's split into quarters and we need to count how many parts are shaded so that's one and two so only two parts are shaded so we have two quarters of the shape shaded. Now you've done that, you can have a go at the exercise online if you'd like to. Three star challenges. Last week you found a fifth and a tenth of different objects. You need to do that again for me today and choose a different object. But I also want you to do a fifth and a tenth of a shape. So here we have two circles and you can say that this one is split into tenths because it has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten parts. And this one is a fifth because it's split into five bits. One, two, three, four, five. Now make sure that each of your parts are equal when you do your shape. As a reminder, let's have a closer look at the fractions. So we have one fifth and one tenth. 10 at the bottom, 10 is your denominator, so your denominator shows you how many parts it's split up into. We only want, so we have 10 parts, but we only want one of them, so only one is shaded. And here we have fifth, and our denominator is five, so we're split into five parts. We only want one of them, so only one is shaded. So your task today is to pick a shape. So we've already done circles, so we could try doing a rectangle. So here's a rectangle. and you want to split it into fifths but we only want one fifth shaded because that's the fraction one, two three four so we have 
one, two, three, four, five. Try and make them as equal as you can. And we want one fifth, so we need to shade in one fifth. Now, if we wanted two fifths, so change that to two, we would need to shade in how many parts? Yep, two parts to make two fifths. You also want to show tenths too. So get your rectangle and split it into 10. One, two, three, four, five, and then cross the middle. Will give us one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So ten parts, because number at the bottom, we want one of them. So we shade them in. Now, what if I asked for four tenths? We need to shade four in because we want four tenths. So one, two, three, four. Now, can you see any similarities between two fifths and four tenths? Have a think and see what you can see. You might have noticed that one fifth is equal to two tenths. So when we shade in two fifths, we have four tenths there. I've given you some questions to do today for your task. So our first question, I want you to shade in two fifths of the rectangle. Second question, shade in a quarter of the square. I'd like you to tell me what fraction is shaded for this one. So you need to count how many parts there are. And for the last three questions, I want you to create your own fraction for this one. So you can shade in whatever part you want and then tell me your fraction. And I'd like to shade half of this one in and two fifths of this one in. You will also have sheets online to fill out. Is our fraction lesson finished for today? Have a look at the success criteria to see if you've been successful. So if you have managed to find half of an object or a shape, you can tick off star one. If you can find half or a quarter of an object or a shape, tick star two. And if you can find a fifth or a tenth of an object or a shape, tick star three. Now there are activities online that you can try if you want to, but if you've had a go at the tasks today, then that's fabulous. Have a good day.